Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. Got the camera angle taken care of. So, don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> but the topic of this video is the strong man. And yeah, it's definitely something I talk about a lot in uh, a lot of my other videos. But before I get into that, um, I want to remind you guys to subscribe and if you're new or if you've been here for a while. And of course, um, like the video, whether you want to support or you think the video is going to be good or you just enjoy the video. So I appreciate that in advance here. So let's get into this topic. The strong man. So the strong man, um, as some of you guys know who've been around for a while watching my videos of the past year, really, you know, where I really mentioned the strong man the past few, I'd probably say six months. The strong man is quote unquote alpha, the dominant man, the the select man, um, just the man that men want to be and women want to be with, you know, but you always got to understand that in order to become that man, you have to be different, you know, you can't, you can't be like everybody else, all of the men. Yeah, I mean, it's the reason you're strong. You stand out as opposed to the weak man. You know, I did a video about that. You know, there's nothing wrong with being a weak man. You know what I mean? There's really nothing wrong with it, but obviously most men want to be a strong man, but it, it just takes work. And I'm going to list some characteristics here about what a strong man is or who a strong man is. You know, so the first thing a strong man is and what he does is he is direct with what he wants in, in life. So a strong man, you know, in, for instance, when it comes to dating, if he's looking for a relationship, he'll let the girl know. He wants a relationship, but he also let her know, you know, I don't really know you that well, and I'm not looking to get in a relationship with necessarily, necessarily you because I don't really know you, but you know, let's take it slow and get to know each other and see if we're a good fit. That's direct, but not too aggressive. Of course, if he's just looking for something casual, or friends of benefits, he'll say, hey, you know, I'm looking for something casual, but friends with benefits, not looking for a relationship, anything serious. You know, just just have fun, you know, see where it goes. You know what I mean? Or just just have fun, period. You know? Again, being direct, but not too aggressive. You know what I mean? Um, and that's very important because you got to let people know what you want as a strong man. So they know where you stand and they can take it or leave it. You know, and that's the best way to live because now you know where they stand and you know whether they fit in your life or not. So, the second thing a, a strong man does, feels good about himself. And that is the key to being a strong man, feeling good about yourself. Because when you feel good about yourself, you're more willing to let things go that don't go with your program or that make you feel bad that you don't have a choice to be around. It's very crucial. When you feel good about yourself, you're going to do what you feel is in your best interest. And things that aren't serving you or not in your best interest, you know, let them go. You know, so I think that's pretty uh, self-explanatory, but I just decided to go into a little detail because some of you guys may not understand that. You know what I mean? It's okay. 
you know, we're all at different paths and we're all uh, on this journey of life together. We're here to help each other learn. You know, so the third thing a strong man does is he's confident about the future. As a strong man, you feel good about yourself, but you also know things will work out for you. You expect things to work out for you. You know what I mean? You approach a girl, you expect her to want you. You go for a job, you expect to get that job. And I get it. You know, it doesn't mean things don't work out. It doesn't mean he doesn't uh, things don't go well. But he doesn't dwell on them. Because he knows things will get better in the future. He's confident about the future. You know, so it's important you know, as a strong man, that you always realize, regardless of where you're at or what situation you're going through, things will get better for you and the people around you by virtue of them being around you. You know what I mean? So it's very important to always keep that in mind and always, as a strong man, have confidence about the future. So the fourth thing, strong man knows and does is he knows he can accomplish anything he really wants because again having that confidence feeling like regardless of what happens I will not fail you want a girl you know we when it comes to rejection whether it's a job or a girl you do not. That girl doesn't really reject you. You don't get rejected. It's you who reject them. Because whether it's they don't want to be around you and they leave, you can pursue her. And if you have good enough game, you can convert that. And sure, she may be mad. She may get, you know, scared. But you can always push forward. But because she she decided, said she said she didn't want to do what you wanted to do, or she walked away, you decided to fall back. You know, if a job, you apply for a job and she, they, you know, they don't um, accept you, you could always apply again. Either once you got this, uh, the rejection letter or later on. But it's up to you. You don't have to. If you feel like, hey, you rejected me, you know, you don't even deserve me, you know, I don't even want to work for you no more, go. Obviously not out of malice, but just out of the fact that you want people who want you. You know what I mean? So you never really get rejected in life. You know, the problem is people who deal with rejection, weaker men, they personalize it. Instead of realizing, hey, they don't want me, I don't want them. You know what I mean? You want people who want you and realize you will find people or a job who does want you. It's just a matter of time. The confidence in the future you know so the fifth thing that strong men do is they take failure as a learning lesson because when it comes to failing it's inevitable in life but when it comes to failing or failure you take the lessons from the failure and apply them later in your life to success and to have success and more success. It's just like taking the rejection um, or the quote unquote rejection as their loss. Of course, you're going to learn if you do want that person and you want to go back to them or you want to get that job, you're going to learn what you uh, could have done better or what they didn't like. And adjust. You know, you're going to learn from your failures and do better next time. You don't sit on your failures or let those failures hold you down. You got to learn and adjust. Because that's how you have more success in life. And that's how you're more confident in life by learning from your failures. You know, so that's what you got to do. Uh, the sixth thing here. 
that strong men do is they have high expectations for the people closest to them. Because again, in order for you to be strong, as much as we want to be an island and we are the center of our universe and we are um, internally confident and that's what gives out uh, to other people and we attract other confident and strong people. But that also means you have to hold those people closest to you to a high expectations because as much as you, again, you have that eternal confidence our environment, it does affect us. And you don't always want to have people around you, closest to you, who are draining you and who are causing drama and stress to you and bringing low vibrations. Because naturally, over time, even if it doesn't um, drastically bring you down, it will bring you down. Having to constantly try to keep your energy up or try to, you know, talk to this person and get them to understand what they're doing wrong or try to get them to or get them to do what you want in order to have more harmony between you guys again if somebody is not playing by your program and they don't want to live up to your expectations and it's not like that you feel like you're a dictator and they got to be perfect no but if they are adding more drama than peace or positivity to your life you got to let them go for your sake and for theirs. You know, you got to let them go for your sake and for theirs. You know what I mean? So your life is easier and their life is easier. Because all that drama, they're miserable. They're giving you their misery. And you're choosing not to accept it. You know what I mean? And the seventh and final thing that strong men do is they live life on their terms. Whether it's with women the job, friends, they live life on their terms. You know what I mean? They live where they want to live. They hang out with who they want to hang out with. They work where they want to work. They travel when they want to travel. They are in complete control of their life. And of course, again, it doesn't mean that everything always goes their way. But they expect it to. And they're going to figure out a way to get it to go their way. You know what I mean? Because they understand that they are the masters of their universe. The way they think, the way they feel, the way people treat them. They are the masters. So they live on their, they live life on their terms. You know? In addition to what they choose to do with their lives. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's all, it's all seven. It's very simple. And it takes time to get there. It, it's not something that happens overnight. Becoming a strong man. It, it is definitely not something that happens overnight. You know. But. With effort. Dedication. You can get there. But. That's all I got for y'all today. I appreciate y'all watching. And for all y'all who watch every week. I definitely appreciate you, appreciate you guys. You know what I mean. Um, I do this for y'all. You know what I mean? So, um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about the the video, whether you agree or disagree. Of course, also let me know what other topics you'd like me to talk about. You know, and of course, as I always say, if you find value in the video, I appreciate donations. You know what I mean? And of course, uh, the value is also just watching. You don't have to donate. You know, so either way. Um... But, as I always say, I hope uh, y'all stay safe. I'll see y'all next week. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.